If CM Punk is to return to AEW, the working idea has been to use split crews that would tie into a rumored new Saturday night show with the former AEW world champion as a featured star. Dave Meltzer said no deal has been finalized for the show, nor the potential Turner Network the show would be on. The original idea was a two-hour show, quote, with equal the star power of Dynamite. As of now, there is a lone Saturday, July 8th date for a televised event in Regina, Canada, with a start time of 7 Eastern. Meltzer noted there would be cases like pay-per-views or special one-off events like AEW All-In at London's Wembley, in which the split crew would not work for obvious reasons, unless you have a separate building. News is intensified this week of a potential punk return around the time AEW returns to Chicago in late June for the Forbidden Door Go-Home edition of Dynamite. Meltzer noted Punk's return is considered, quote, a tenuous situation because the dressing room issues involving him have not been settled at all at press time. Of course, we had the story of the all-out brawl, including Punk, A. Steel, Kenny Omega, the Young Bucks in September. Punk has not appeared on AW programming since that event. He has been rehabbing a torn tricep suffered that night against John Moxley. According to a Friday Fightful report, Punk would like to work with the elite and has pushed for a meeting with them for some time. A meeting with Punk and Chris Jericho is also supposed to... You know, I'm like, dude, I've been trying so hard. But listen. There was a all-out press deal. Correct me if I'm wrong on any of this, right? Okay. CM Punk went in, mm-hmm. and he just cut a promo on everybody. He was angry and he was furious. Eight muffins. He goes back to his locker room. The Young Bucks and Kenny Omega get the head of legal to go talk to CM Punk. And CM Punk punches Matt Jackson and a brawl breaks out. Okay? Am I wrong about any of this? I no one, there Nobody it. has disputed that course of events. Nobody. Okay? Now, if you want to talk about whatever happened and... Larry and whatever, I don't know. But nobody has disputed that what happened was Punk went to his locker room, the Young Bucks, Kenny Omega, and Miga went to the locker room, the head of of legal, and then CM Punk punched Matt Jackson and a fight broke out. Okay? CM Punk punched Matt Jackson. That's how this whole thing started. All right? Now, don't do this whole thing. Yeah, well, you know, before that, blah, blah, blah. Listen, I got kids, Okay? If one of my kids punches another one of my kids, and then the kid that punched the first kid goes, yeah, well, so-and-so, you know, took my dinosaur. You don't punch them. Right? Am I wrong here? Okay, so, if CM Punk wants to work with the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega, fine, okay? But am I wrong about this? You probably shouldn't have punched him. Am I wrong? Correct me when I'm wrong, okay? Well, well if, if you, you want to if you want to work with them, you probably shouldn't have punched them. Well, if you felt threatened, then yes, but that is yes. Do you punch somebody in a professional environment with the head of legal right there without any reason? No, you shouldn't do that. Okay, so if you want to work with them, you know the the problem probably them not wanting to work with you probably started when you punched them. Okay. Probably. By the end of this, I was convinced Iron Mike Sharp is the best wrestler who ever lived. He's low key at first, like. Blah, 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 blah. But he keeps going. He claps. Yeah, I got a headlock. I'm tall. I'm giant Mike Sharp. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.